Hi, my name's Rachel, and I'm the Creepy Crone. I'm a writer and a crafter, and I love all things spooky. I'm part of a group of women who are here to show you that living the creepy, chaotic, or crafty life doesn't stop at 50. It's okay to be spooky. It's okay to be artsy. It's okay to be you. Welcome to the Crone Cartel. All you have to do is fold the piece in half and it will, and I pressed it so it looks pretty smooth and neat right now. Um, and then start here and sew up, leave this open, and then you're going to end up with a piece like this that you trim down this a little bit closer and then turn it inside out so that the seam will be on the inside um, and then close it across the top and you do that four times and you will have your strap. Editing Rachel here, uh, just cutting in to let you know that we are missing some footage. Uh, we are going from day one and two in the first part of the apron series to day four, because I did film on day three, but I lost the footage. Uh, so yeah, we're missing a bit. So what we're missing is uh, sewing the ruffles, uh, pinning the ruffles onto the bottom of the apron and sewing them on. Um, I did film that, but the footage has gone missing. So unfortunately there is a gap, but uh, I did manage to keep hold of the footage from day four. So this video is uh, considerably shorter and um, more sparse than I intended it to be, but you know, life. Okay, so I've skipped a bit in the process. Um, all of the ruffles are now on. Um, what have I learned? I'm not great at ruffles. I mean, they look okay but from a distance, but like don't examine them too closely, please. So this part is finished and now we're ready to move on to the top, which I have started. Here's the straps. Had to match up, um, I've got to sew around here, then turn it inside out and attach it, gather and attach up here, and there's a lot of sewing. But basically this is the last step, and I'm about to sew around here, finish that off, and yeah. Once I get that done, flip it, more gathering, oof, gathering, ugh. Um, and attaching, sewing, blah, blah. And then I believe the apron is finally done. Um, this is day four of the project, not four consecutive days, mind you, but just the fourth day that I've actively worked on it. Um, and I am determined to finish it today and then I can edit the pieces together and put up part two at last. Now that we are at the end of November and <laughs> I started this at, in October, um, but yeah, life happened, yay. But yes, we are on, it's really cute. Um, I like the ruffles, I like the tears. I like how it looks. I think it's gonna be super cute on. Okay, so the two top parts, oops. the two top parts are sewn together. The straps are um, hemmed into the seam here. 
Um, this is the front part. It's folded over and pressed. Um, and then this is the back. And then the apron part will go up in here. And there's like a lot of sewing to do. But like here's the here's the neck straps. And then I guess the waist straps. That's pretty high. But I guess these can be kind of low. You can t make them loose so that this hangs sort of across the chest. And then this will be at the waist. Okay, more sewing and ironing. So the front is finished except for uh, picking out the gathering stitch. And that will be the very last thing that I do. But basically these two pieces were uh, placed right side together and stitched and now I've got to come onto the back the side that was folded over and pressed is now gone over the messy edge the raw edge on the back side and I've got to sew that across and then it will be completely finished and I will have a nice new Halloween bonus Molly footage. She's not helping me as much today. Bye-bye-bye.